Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Agile Technical Tester. We are in chapter 2 and moving to the next topic is 2.2 Experienced Based Testing in Agile. Where the first topic which we are covering as a part of this segment is 2.2.1 Combining Experienced Based Techniques and Black Box Tests. It is very crucial to understand that how generally an experience based techniques can be combined with other techniques as well because not only experience based technique alone sometimes helps you but also requires some input from combining the black box approaches so the various characteristics of agile projects such as approach length of iteration applicable test levels risk level of project and product quality requirements level of experience expertise of the team members project organization etc etc will influence the balance of automated test, exploratory test, and manual black box testing in an agile project. So everything need to be well understood that what is applicable best at what point of time and which has a major contribution when talking to deliver something in minimal time. During risk analysis, the risk levels, probably high, medium, low, however you determine that, you can use any rating or including one to five, are determined for the individual system features and functionality. Following that, the next step is to find the right mix and balance of automated test, exploratory test and manual black box test for a specific risk level. Now let's talk a little more about in detail that how exactly this combination can be the best approach for different type of application. Here, what we will be looking at is an example of safety critical system to understand that how the risk balance can be done with a combined approach of automated test, exploratory test and black box test. So below is a table describing this idea. In this table, the risk levels are listed vertically and the three test approaches are on the top. The table below is an example of a mix of different testing techniques put together that can be used in a safety critical system. This table can also be adapted to other specific projects. Now look at the table carefully. We do have three ratings on the list level that is high, medium, low. And on the column we have automated test, exploratory test and black box test. The symbols are also provided in detail below that what each symbol stands for. Double plus stands for highly recommended, plus stands for recommended, a not stands for neutral, a hyphen stands for not recommended and double hyphen stands for not to be used at all. So if you see in this scenario, when you talk about a safety critical system, on the first row, when you talk about high level risk areas, you have high recommendations for automated test and black box testing. Now when generally we talk about both the aspect, it is all about combining the black box testing with automated test approach. So in the first row, it basically suggests in this situation, a combinative or combination of automated test and black box test would be highly recommended in addition to a little bit of exploratory testing approach. The decision to automate will also be influenced by the many other factors as well. So this is one important thing which we can really understand that when it comes to application like safety critical system or quite related to that, we may recommend a lot of automation test with a best combination of black box testing. Whereas exploratory testing can obviously an added work. Similarly, we do have another application to understand more about this approach that what otherwise. Now, when you talk about a non-safety critical system, that means other than the safety critical system, that how this system can be used as a combination. Now, similar table is used here, but if you look at the last row here, it suggests that in this situation, an exploratory testing is the best approach and is highly recommended, while the other approach might not be needed at all. It need not to be used when you talk about non-safety system when it comes to agile applications or agile methodology. In any situation, whether safety critical or not, the specific mixture will depend on the project characteristics as well. But it is just an example to understand that how the recommendation on the combination of different approaches, including automation, exploratory and black box test can be helpful at different point of time. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer them well. We'll be getting back to you with another tutorial on the same segment. Stay tuned for that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.